Hey guys, Tim here from Boogie Snail Mushroom. Hope you're having a very great day. So in this uh, video, I speak about my top uh, stereo, widen a stereo enhancer plugin I will use most of the time in 2023. So I speak about its best features. I show it in uh, practice on various uh, scenarios. So before we start, Please remember, if you have a mix that you need mustard, request a quote at bsmastering.com and uh, receive 50% of your first order. I would also very much appreciate, guys, if you subscribe and hit the notification bell to support my channel. It helps me to bring more videos. And now, let's get started. <laughs> Many times the mix seems like it, it, it either too wide or too narrow. So a stereo enhancer is called to adjust the width uh, of the stereo field. In fact, this is more of a fixed tool than something that a mastering engineer would use every day. But it does come in handy during the rare times when the stereo field needs uh, manipulating. Some processes features an MS mode which uses a mid-side matrix that allows to select where the process works within the stereo image by manipulating the in and out of phase signals. The mid sends the process into the center of the stereo image as usual, but the side makes it seem as if the processing is occurring at the outside edges of the stereo spectrum. Most of the time you will find that the mid mode works best, but occasionally the side mode will allow to add processing in a way that works better, such as brightening up a track without affecting a lead vocal or brightening a lead vocal without affecting the cymbals or enhance uh, guitars by boosting mid-range frequencies without affecting the vocal and snare or enhance the bass without modding the stereo guitars. So, uh, this advanced uh, mastering techniques that every mastering engineer should understand and possibly configure into their mastering system. It may not be a regular weapon or necessary for all projects, but when used wisely, it offers impressive mastering results. While most of the wits comes from arrangement and mixing techniques, there are still a few things that mastering engineer can do to handle this at the mastering stage. So my favorite st stereo enhancer is a Sidemender ME2 by uh, Raisin Jake's uh, studio. It has three independent bands of stereo widths control with adjustable crossover frequencies and a solar switch, one um, bass narrow control, in addition to the correlation meter, you also got a delta output to listen only to the processed audio and a mono output option. Additionally, controls per bands uh, to tweak the width, limiters, release time, ratio, output, and correlation of set. First and foremost, because of its sonic abilities, there are few plugins that offer stereo widening control this way. You can usually boost or reduce it uh, by hand, but you can rarely limit it that way. And as you may know, limiting something in audio that can have a lot of benefits if done properly. For example, you can maximize your stereo widths while keeping your tracks mono compatible. Sidemander works particularly well for music with some nice separation between the left and the right channels. For example, music with some nice percussive elements bouncing on the left and the right channels. In this uh, case, it helps to maximize the impact of such stereo separation and details. And now let's say be such example with pre and post this stereo processing.
Next, it is also very useful for more than semantic or orchestral music where the low end uh, is often melted into the sets with the room's uh, reverberation or the specific panning. In this case, we can lower the bass, narrow fader, and either keep the low wide or keep it at unity, but use the bass trim to push it up a tad more to compensate for the feeling of a bass, lost due to it being more mono. It is a nice way to make an orchestral or semantic arrangement be as wide and mono compatible as uh, possible. So, and now let's be the semantic example with the pre and post this stereo processing. 